Ever since the Nigerian election started, we have been seeing and hearing series of prophecies here and there from different pastors, from different uh, prophets. Some say they didn't see election. Some say it's going to be like this. Some have become prophets overnight. When teachers leave their teaching job to do weep, the prophetic ministry that God has called us to, then there's trouble in the land. A whole lot of people have said a whole lot of things about the Nigeria election and Nigeria politics and Nigeria government. But there is this particular one I want you to watch right now. It is coming from the major prophet. In this video, he has revealed that there is going to be an overthrowment and overrun of the current Nigeria government. This is a very serious statement. If you have been following what is happening in Africa right now, you will see that there is a lot happening in different countries, especially in the Francophone uh, countries. We have heard that there have been an overthrowment of government in Burkina Faso. There have been an overthrowment of government in uh, Niger Republic. So a lot is happening right now. And now the major prophet is saying that the current Nigeria government will be overrun that they will overthrow them so i'm not going to just speak much about it i will allow you to watch this video and then let me know what you think about this in the comment section then i will come back and then share some certain things with us watch this video shocking takeover what is this takeover all about what is this takeover all about something that is kept on coming to me Kept on coming to me as I begin to look at the spiritual world. The Lord kept on showing me something and said, The people of Nigeria should, as weak as possible, go into what's called prayer. Pray because I am seeing what's called shocking surmount and what's called what's called so, so what's called what's called what's called what's called run over and what's called what's called what's called take it over. Maradika Protos Legatakus Kaparakata. I'm not in the business of long story. I'm in the business of what's called what is written is written. Because what is written is written. And what is written can only be raised by somebody that dictate it. Say, so what shall be done? What shall be done? What shall be done? When the king called the prophet, he said, Prophet of God, what shall be done? And the prophet of God said to the king, Long live the king. This is what to be done. This is what to be done. And what to be done has to be done to put things in place. It's important for us to keep praying for Nigeria, to keep interceding for Nigeria. I mentioned it in one of my videos that what we don't need in Nigeria right now is war. Anything that is going to lead to war or violence in Nigeria right now, we don't need it. I'm not speaking as a prophet, but I want us to understand that what we need right now in Nigeria is peace and unity. So we should do our best to distance ourselves from anything that is going to cause war or engage in any acts of violence or anything that will lead to serious issues in Nigeria because a lot of people might not be able to recover from it. Some people think that uh, war is an easy thing, that um, a battle or going into war is like the, what we see in movies. It's not like that. This is not a case of uh, death Lee, one man beating 200 people. This is not an issue of uh, uh, Van Dan, only he will go to an army camp and kill food. It is not like that. So let's try our best. If a believer has the idea, in fact, it's not about being a believer. Well, I, as long as you're in Nigeria, and I want you to, to pray and intercede for Nigeria, for Nigeria. Whether you're a Muslim, a Christian, a Hindu, a Buddhist, whatever you serve or whatever religion you belong to, please let us do well to pray and intercede for our country, Nigeria. A lot of people are going through so much hardship in Nigeria, a lot is happening already in Nigeria. So just imagine that we encounter a, a, a situation where we will be running heta skater. We will be running from here, here, here and there. No, we don't need that kind of thing in Nigeria. Let us pray for peace and unity. Let us pray that God should intervene and help us fix our country, Nigeria. Let us pray for that. What the major prophet is saying, personally, personally, this is what I will say. If the overthrowment is that P2B is going to win in court and become the next president of Nigeria, let it be so. But you see, anything that will make us uh, experience that oh, 
military have taken over and they, they will now have a divided camp. These people are now fighting. Biafras are coming to fight. These people are coming to... We don't need that kind of thing in Nigeria. We don't need it at all. We don't need it at all. We need one Nigeria. We need unity. We need peace in our country, Nigeria. If you don't need it, I need it. Because I go online, I see people, let's divide Nigeria. If they don't want, let's fight. If they don't want, let's do this. Let's do this one. Let's do that one. No, that is not what will bring progress in Nigeria. If you want Nigeria to progress, let us find the best way to handle it so that we will still have our Nigeria and still live in peace. And the only way that can happen is if God intervenes. We can actually get this thing done without violence. That is why I'm encouraging every one of us to pray for Nigeria. Some people will say that uh, prayer cannot solve it, that we have been praying for years. We have uh, plenty of churches in Nigeria. They have been praying, but Buka Haram is still there. That is still happening. They are still killing people. They are still there. I understand, but listen, we don't need war. If people will win in court peacefully, and become the president of Nigeria and fix Nigeria for us. Fine. If that's the kind of overthrowment he's talking about, no problem. If the military want to also step in and help stabilize some, some things, if things are not stable in Nigeria, no problem. As long as it will not cause people to pull out firearms, to pull out weapons and start killing themselves, no problem. Whatever is going to happen in Nigeria that is not going to lead to serial violence, no problem. But I want to urge us to continue to pray for Nigeria. Let us pray for Nigeria, at least for this year. If we are able to skate through to next year, Nigeria will be great. I believe it in my heart that Nigeria will be great again. I know it that Nigeria will be great again. So let us continue to pray for Nigeria. Let us continue to intercede for Nigeria. Intercede for our leaders. Pray for them that God should give them the wisdom to do things right. God should help them to see things clearly and do what they are supposed to do. It is very, very important. It is very important for us to live in peace and harmony. Nigeria, like I said, is going through a lot currently. We don't need more stress. We are already stressed. We don't need more of it. We don't need more of it. So let us continue to intercede for our beloved country, Nigeria. And as we do so, God will surely continue to direct your path and lead you through the path that is going to help you recover from whatever you have lost and put an end to whatever it is you are going through. I know it is not easy to be in Nigeria right now. It is not even easy to be a Nigerian. It, it, it is not easy to live in Nigeria. It is not easy at all. Things are tough. Things are hard. I even heard that dollars have climbed to 900 per dollar. Just, just imagine. It's tough. But God can do it for us. Let us continue to trust in God. Let us continue to trust in God. Violence is not the answer. War is not the solution to anything, uh, to any problem. War is not the solution. So let us continue to pray that God intervenes and help us fix our beloved country, Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your description there. So you will find another post another video. I will see you in the next one. You are blessed.